Hello everyone, this is ASMR today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'm gonna show you the process of depth map that is in a Facebook 3D object and how to make it in a Photoshop and you can easily post in a Facebook. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So at first go to the file and open up. I downloaded a couple of images from the pixiebay.com and I'll open up this image and and here is the portion and actually you have to know or understand the things that is one is the simple image and another one is a depth map what is the depth map depth maps is a layer or part of the photo so suppose I measure this area is a photo or this area is a part of a photo that means a sky hill and the girl with the rocks so three things and three layer i have to make and i have to fill it up with a gradient that is the depth map so take a new blank layer and at first go to this background layer and quick selection tool and select the sky yeah this sky select more precisely it will be more realistic if you select your photo more precisely and the selection will be more amazing so here if you make it like that or yeah they, this one is good yeah that's fine and now at first i'll fill it up with a black color that means go to the paint bucket tool and select the black color from here and select once uh, you have to select the layer and then select it not in a picture in the layer actually so then i'll take another new layer in the behind of the this layer this one is a sky okay and this one is a background so i'll fill it up with a gradient so go to the gradient tool here and select this gradient uh, you can select this gradient whatever foreground and background color and just select here here so that's fine that's good yeah that's good and now i'll select this girl so select this image and go to the quick selection tool or you can use any kind of selection process you want and uh, it will be more precisely otherwise it won't work properly so here uh, i left some area yeah don't let any area and select more precisely it will help you out to make more accurate 3d subject or object photo so select here select here and yeah almost precise but if you need you can take the lasso tool and press the shift button and fill up those area which is left so you can use this for this portion and this portion as well so you have to make more precisely selection so if i make it like this yeah that's good and here yeah this portion so check it out which portion you are selecting that is more precisely this portion is left so you have to make it more accurate so this this one is good so here as well and here as well so observe the image fully selected otherwise it won't work properly so be careful and now take a new blank layer and fill it up with the ash color so go to the gradient here or you can go to the hair solid color and go to the brush tool take the first one brush and according to the size and you can fill it up like that so make it like this smaller like that and select it up and i'll make it like this yeah so this one is our depth map that is ready and you can save it out and this one um, this one is too much rush that's why i'll make it a little bit blurry so go to the filter and blur and gaussian blur so i'll make it only 2.4 or like that so this one is also rush and i'll go to the filter and blur as well and gaussian blur so a little bit yeah that's fine and 
three things so i'll save this out i'll save this out and give the name underscore depth that means the image name will be same and you have to add another extension that is the underscore depth and like uh, jpg or png whatever you want so i'll give depth and save it out and hit ok now i will upload this one so i'm crossing this one and go to the facebook this one this one was our image and it will take two photo one is the main image another one is a depth map depth map is making the 3d effects in a facebook so this one is a technique of the facebook and if you want to make your photo more amazing you can do that so this one is a 3d and you are getting the 3d effect in the facebook so let's see again what is the process and go to the file and open up uh, here lots of image actually so if i uh, go to this photo yeah here is three or four things so at first i'll select the sky so how to do that and then i'll select the girl and then i'll select the background so take a new blank layer and then at first go to the gradient and select this gradient like that so select this gradient and yeah this one is our background okay fine i'm turning off and now i'll select the sky how to do that go to the quick selection tool and select the sky with the girl not uh, um, i'll select the girl later and at first i'll select this one again and take a new blank layer and give the color of this one is black so make the black color actually make this one in a black color and fill it up yeah that's fun and that's good and uh, edit the gradient how to do that and here select the gradient options here and select this one yeah that's good yeah and now i'll select the girl so take a new blank layer again and go to the quick selection tool and make it smaller like that and select the girl same thing and same talk uh, select the subject more precisely otherwise it won't work properly and you won't get the proper result of this so select this one more precisely you have to select it out here here and here so in this portion so is selected now I take this layer in upper side of the all window and I'll give the ash color here so take the ash color from the color palette and go to the brush and select this portion so that's fine and this one as well so that's good and now press ctrl s and make the format jpeg and jpg whatever you want and give the extension depth underscore depth and i'll select it out save it and hit ok and now i'll post that thing in here so select here and this two things and i'll upload this one facebook will take time and give you the effect uh, that is ready or not so it's taking time to load and uh, giving the output that is the 3d type output yeah that's fine you are getting the 3d output in this portion so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and you can make your photograph like 3d type effect in a facebook post so keep trying and give upload on your facebook or social media post and if you want to get the stock images please check out my video description and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. Until the next video, I am ASMRB signing out today. Bye bye.